As the Game Commission celebrates its 125th anniversary, it's important to look back on what led to the creation of the agency. Pennsylvania's wildlife losses bordered on catastrophic before the Game Commission was created. Through the 19th century, wildlife lost its habitat to development, was challenged by pollution, and was killed for table fare, bounties, and target practice. Some species were extirpated or became extinct. In 1895, the General Assembly responded by creating the Pennsylvania Game Commission to manage and protect what wildlife remained. The fledgling agency faced many challenges but fostered an environment where wildlife began to recover and eventually thrive. With money provided by hunting licenses and wardens to ensure laws were followed, Pennsylvania's wildlife management programs grew to become some of the nation's finest. The agency quickly became a national leader in deer management, an innovator for the creation of its state refuge system, and a guiding light for species reintroductions and trap and transfer. It was also one of the earliest proponents for songbird conservation. There is no doubt the first director of the State Board of Game Commissioners, Joseph Kalbfus, recognized his work as wildlife work, not just game work. He noted in his 1908 annual report that it is as much the duty of this commission to see to it that our officers go as far to give protection to the bluebird or a robin or a wren as they would give protection to a wild turkey, to a deer, to any other species of game. Pennsylvania was one of the first states to give protection to black bears. In 1911, bear traps were banned, and to bolster their populations, bear season was closed multiple times. Bear hunting was reopened in 1979, and today, Bruin numbers are the highest they've ever been. The Game Commission went on to bring back species extirpated from the state. In 1913, 1916, and 1926, shipments of wild elk from Yellowstone, Jackson Hole, and South Dakota were sent via railroad to become what is now a thriving herd on our north central tier, providing hunting opportunities for those fortunate to be drawn for a tag and bolstering local economies through the thousands of visitors to the elk range. Bald eagles declined and almost disappeared when, by 1982, Pennsylvania had a mere three nests remaining in the state. Immense efforts were put forth to bring birds from Canada and raise them out of makeshift eagle nests. From these lofts, or hack towers, grew what is now well over 300 active bald eagle nests in Pennsylvania. Other species, almost completely eradicated from Pennsylvania but now restored, include the otter and fisher. Prior to 1900, degradation of water quality and habitat, human encroachment, and unregulated harvest led to a 75% decline in North American otter populations. Between 1982 and 1992, 153 otters were reintroduced in central and western Pennsylvania watersheds. The resurgence of river otters in North America is one of the greatest modern wildlife conservation success stories. Fisher were also brought back after over a 70-year absence from the Keystone State. They now have spread nearly statewide to include all their former range. Surprisingly, species bolstered by trap and transfer include white-tailed deer, turkey, bear, and beaver. Only a handful of years ago, the amount of acreage in the game land system eclipsed the 1.5 million acre mark. Each game land has a prescriptive plan created to manage habitat type based on species need. Our staff have been doing this work since we had a refuge system in the early 1900s. Game lands are a place that provide recreational opportunities for hunting and trapping, as well as other activities. There are game lands in all but one Pennsylvania county. No other state can lay claim to so much wealth in public land. Land that is entrusted to sportsmen for the benefit of wildlife. Our state wildlife agency is just as important today as it has ever been. 
Hunters everywhere should be proud of what they have supported. But our work is now more urgent than ever before. Threats to wildlife shifted to things almost unfathomable 125 years ago. Disease and invasive species endanger wildlife everywhere. Our bald eagles, now recovered, are being threatened by lead poisoning. In 2012, chronic wasting disease was detected in our wild deer herd and has continued to spread across areas of the Commonwealth. Nationwide, 35% of wild bird populations have disappeared. White nose syndrome has decimated Pennsylvania's little brown bat population, causing this once common species to now be on the state endangered species list. Our state bird population is plummeting due to West Nile virus. All of these challenges demonstrate that the work of the Game Commission today is just as vital as it was in 1895 when the agency was created. We still need the support of hunters, trappers, wildlife watchers, and those who care about the Commonwealth's natural resources. Together, we can work to ensure a future for Pennsylvania's wildlife. Thank you.